What's up guys and welcome back to Subnautica. Man oh man, I am so excited about this. This could not come at a better time. So we just finished our full Subnautica Let's Play yesterday and uh, then today we get Subnautica Below Zero, baby. That's right, so I'm not even sure what to call this. It's kind of like an add-on DLC type deal, but it's also like its own full like new game. You have to buy it separately and stuff, so I'm not sure what to call it, but I know it, it you know, ties in with the previous game. There are probably going to be a lot of references and stuff, and uh, we'll just have to wait and see what happens. I have stayed completely in the dark on this, avoided all the spoilers. I didn't even watch the trailer that came out earlier this afternoon, because I wanted everything to be fresh here. So, I well, hope you guys are excited. If you are, drop a like. I really appreciate it. Let's get a lot of support on this first episode, and uh, what do you guys say? Let's get into it. We are different. No, dude, the Sea Emperor Leviathan, that's the last thing she said to us in the last game. Are you serious? Unknown Worlds Entertainment presents. You all ready for this? Waking up in a multi-purpose room, all right, I like this. Oh my goodness. Let's go ahead and shut that thing off. And a here we are, dude. Ooh. Our first base here in Subnautica. Dude, this is looking nice. We've got a single bed with some, some plants up top. Little plant there. Little peepers in here. They look a little bit different this time around. They're, they're bright bluish green instead of the darker blue. Bladderfish there. Okay. We've got a photo on the wall. Is that us? Surrounded by penguins. That looks pretty cool. Another little tree. We've got a whole fish over here with a scuba diver. Some of our scuba suits and stuff, and here we go. Our first PDA here in Subnautica Below Zero. Robin Goodall, Altera Application Interview. All right, so the interviewer says, why have you applied for this role? Robin says, everybody's talking about 4546B. Who hasn't applied? Maybe Jeffries. So it looks like we're going to be back on the same planet as the original Subnautica. Uh, no, Jeffrey signed on last week. Why this assignment? Robin says, last time we found Cynthia Alien Life was straighter six, 17 years ago. It's been fun, but frankly, I'm bored. And you have telepathic squid. The interviewer says, I should tell you there are rumors about spacefaring aliens on the planet. Are rumors? If that's why you're here, you'll just be disappointed. Robin says, I'm a xenolinguist. Spacefaring aliens are our holy grail. I want it, but I don't expect to get it. The interviewer asks, what qualifies you for this position? There are creatures out there that you couldn't imagine, let alone understand. Do you know how I talk to them? Uh, I think you correlate responses against stimuli, and I do what they do. If they breathe in liquid nitrogen and talk with their feet, I put on a coat and pull a handstand. But this recruitment process, it's the most alien of all, so I'm trying to correlate my responses here. I want us to understand each other. Put me on that planet. I'll talk with the fish for you. Thank you, Miss Goodall. Sandra, Sandra? Sandra will show you out. Interesting. All right. So Robin is a uh, a person of the animals, I guess. It seems like she really, really likes animals. I think that's who we're playing as here. Dude, this is this is crazy. We're starting off with a fully loaded base. We've got a cargo room over here. We've got a greenhouse. Bro, this is ten times nicer than anything I built in the last Subnautica. Are you, <laughs> are you serious right now? This is insane. Looks like this is our little kitchen area. We've got no signal, water filtration unit, We've got a vending machine, tables, chairs, everything like that. The Vesper. Your eyes in the sky over alien worlds. Some more aquariums back here. What is all this stuff? Bioreactor. Hmm. Should we go outside? Whoa! Dude, we're on land! Okay. Got some prawn suits out here. Nice, with the drill arms and the grappling arm. Okay. Not too bad. Station some Zero, food. this is Vesper. Come in. Hi, Sam. We lost contact with Jeffries up at the research site. Okay, I'll check it out. Understood. You know, the formal bit's cute, but we've shared a womb. Would it kill your career to act like we'd met before? Robin, you know these conversations are monitored. <laughs> I don't care who knows it's cute. I've been here two weeks, we've hardly spoken. Because you went straight to the planet. Find Jeffries, chat later. Yes, Mom. All right, so we've got to go find Jeffries. Let's find out about uh, Sam Goodall here. 
Uh, 48, human resource analyst. Vesper station in 4546B, born to a single mother. Previous employment. Demonstrates strong reward-based motivation, well integrated with Altera corporate structure. Extroverted, sensitive, thoughtful, and judgmental. So that's, that's like a coworker, I guess. Whoa, okay. Calm down with all that, Mr. Plant that stares at me. Yeah, these are, these are kind of creepy, I'm not gonna lie. Just a little bit creepy. By the way, guys, I've gotta get the, the settings dialed in, and this is, this is kind of like a, a work in progress, obviously. This is early access to the game. It's not fully optimized yet. I don't know if we're pulling the best, uh, the best frame rate here. It does seem a little bit choppy, but better than nothing, right? At least we're playing. I was trying to mess with it before I played today, and it's it just like, I don't know. I gotta get something figured out. I will, though. It's not too bad. It's just it's not it's not as buttery as the other one was. Whoa, we've got an alien base here. What do we have going on outside? Some microscopes and just kind of like equipment to analyze everything. A coffee maker. Access denied. Further efforts will be denied forcefully. How'd you know my name? I come in peace. Sam, the building just powered up. It spoke to me. Are you safe? It's never done that before. I'm fine. No sign of Jeffries. I've got an electrical storm on the sensors. Bro. I think it's already here. So we need an orange that tablet or a thing. code. I want you to get back to... Sam? Damn it! Okay, so I, I just realized that Sam and Robin have the, the same last name, so I'm assuming they're brother and... They're not brother and sister. They're sisters. They're siblings. I'm gonna check if there's anything back here, and then we also gotta check that PDA. So we've got a lightning storm coming in, and it cut our comms. That's not good. What is this stuff here? We don't even have a, a scanning tool to be able to use. Anyway, let's, let's check this PDA here. I'm gonna do a better job of reading all the PDAs and stuff this time around, so... Alien Sight Zero. Research Sight Zero. During their occupation of 4546B, the mysterious race of space-faring aliens we refer to as the Almanac selected a number of sites around the planet in which to build their vast facilities. I'm curious if this is happening before or after the original Subnautica. While the focus of their mission to save their kind from the bacterium was the emperor specimen contained at the primary containment facility, so this is after, uh, their other installations served a variety of precautionary and support roles. I guess technically it could still be before the original, I'm not sure. Um, research Site Zero Unknown Alien Facility. While Zero Sector contains a number of now familiar alien sanctuaries, the alien facility in close proximity to the main research station remains one of the few whose purpose we have yet to discover. This will be the focus of our endeavors in Zero Sector. Uh, what we know, frozen beneath the ice hundreds of years ago, the facility lays dormant to this day. We have pro pro progressed only through the first force field, gaining access to the antechamber where a combination lock of a type we don't understand prevents further exploration. Whatever's inside is protected more thoroughly than anything else we have encountered. Okay, so that thing's under lock and key, dude. They, something big's over there, and that's kind of our, our main objective right now is to figure out how to get into that. All right. So we're gonna head back out this We will not be heading back out this way. Can we get through there? Nope, that's completely blocked off. All right, so we're gonna have to go... We're gonna have to go a different way, I guess. All right. We've gotta get back to base, though. Hopefully this ice is thick enough. Got some roots and stuff here, all right. Kinda making our way back. I think we're heading in a, about, about the right direction. Yeah, there it is. We're good. We got... What?! Our entire base was was just destroyed and now we're in this cold cold water are you serious bro is there anything here we can grab the environment is no longer safe 
and your PDA has rebooted in emergency mode. Be advised, high wind speeds will cause lethal exposure in four minutes. Arctic Survival Guide. Um, probably don't want to open this up down here while we're, we're low on oxygen. This looks like some sort of an oxygen plant. Replenish oxygen from plant. Okay. Nice. Dude. The entire base was demolished. All of that stuff. That's like the, uh, the Aurora exploding. Kind of like a, a similar ordeal. You know what I mean? Bro, what is happening? I see some rocks and stuff down here. All right. Limestone. Feels good to be back, baby. I missed you. Let's see what else we can find. Oh, we've got little peepers and stuff. Oxygen. All right. I see some more limestone over here. I'm going to get some air and I'm going to come back down. The thing is, is I, I don't see a life pod. What are these? Acid mushrooms? No. Thought that might be like an updated acid mushroom or something. Bro, what is this glowing thing? But the thing is, we don't have a life pod. Like, we we don't have a ground zero yet. Are we safe in this water? I'm, I'm nervous that we would be a little bit too chilly, bro. I feel like, ooh. <gasps> sea glide fragments. Okay. Okay. All right, we can work with this. Robin, come in. I copy. I'm out in open water. Stay where you are. I'm sending a rescue shuttle. No, I'm okay. I just need shelter. Fine, I'm sending a temporary habitat instead. Look up. Thank you, Sam. Call me when you get there. Oh, that's that thing we saw. The It was on the poster of the research station. And in comes our emergency shelter. All right. So are they sending a life pod now? Tell me we're starting in a life pod again. That would be dope. All right. We're going to wait for that to come down. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pick up some of the other stuff we have here. Might as well read our, our things, too, as well. Like I said, I want to stay on top of the story here. So we're going to go to our data bank. Employees working on the surface in the cold weather climates are advised to take additional precautions for their safety. High winds can result in rapid onset of hyperthermia. Uh, never know how long you'll be away from home base. Remember to pack a lunch. Toasty hot beverage always feels good when working in sub-zero conditions. Here comes our, our little base thing there. Uh, always dress appropriately for the mission. Investing in an Altera cold suit is a certain way to pay dividends where your survival is concerned. Retreat to a safe environment, administer first aid if required, broadcast res distress signal, retrieve emergency supplies, survey the environment for threats or resources, find or construct a reliable habitat, construct necessary survival equipment along using the Habitat's fabricator, uh, locate the other survivors, maintain physical and psychological health until rescue is kind of our, uh, our goal here. So let's, let's start heading that way. Looks like it might be a life pod, but I kind of just want to want to grab what we can grab on the way. I'm sure... Ooh, look at all this stuff down here. Got that. Oh, I can't grab you. Yeah, like I said, I mean, this this is early access, so it's it's not going to be ideal. It's not going to be perfect. New creature discovered. New creature discovered. I'm going to grab a couple of these boys. I know they're going to come in useful later. What is this? Oxygen. It's limestone, too. Looked like it was a slightly different color. I didn't know if it was going to be uh, a different item. Where'd he go? Is that a peeper? New creature discovered. An Arctic peeper. That's kind of cool, dude. Look, they've changed a little bit. They've got like a streak of pink on them. I like it. Dude, I'm just so excited to be back right now. Like, you guys don't understand. I love this game. I am in love with this game. We should probably grab each one of these fish. Like I wanna I'm gonna go grab these guys. New creature discovered. A hoop fish. This guy looks familiar. New boomerang fish. Discovered. Yep, boomerang. We still haven't even gotten to the base yet. We need to get over there. I'm more interested in exploring though. So what are all these giant glowing alien like structures coming out of the ground? That's just a little bit concerning. Take some more of these limestones. So we know sea glides are back. That's kind of cool. I like that. I'm a fan of sea glides. That guy looked like a baby. The thing is, is I, I mean, I, I have no clue. New creature discovered. 
I have no, I have no clue what, uh, like where we are, where to go. Like I, I don't know about the map. I don't, like obviously we're kind of in the safe shallows right now, but I have no clue where the bad stuff is gonna be. This is a whole new ball game for us, and it's kind of exciting. All right, so this must be our temporary base. Okay. New blueprint acquired. Sam, I'm at the habitat. Any word on Jeffries? Nothing yet. And the facility? It said my name. I need to know why. I know. Make something to eat, get equipped. I'll have answers by then. Will do. Okay, so we've got all the the basics here that we've seen before. I'm just kind of trying to check everything out, make sure there's nothing new that we need to keep an eye on. Yeah, flashlight, whatever else. Really, we need to get that scanner. So we need to make a battery in titanium. And to make a battery, we need ribbon plant, two ribbon plant and copper ore. Now, I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure what a ribbon plant is, dude. I haven't... I haven't seen one thus far. Hmm. I want to get that scanner and then I want to scan a sea glide. That's kind of my, my main thing, just so we can have a... A bit of transportation. Obviously, we're going to want to make some food at some point, too. I'm going to keep picking these guys up. As we find them. Boomerang fish. We've got to figure out what the best option for food is. I know... Oxygen. Peepers were the best in the last game, but obviously that could change to now. We've got to find this plant, dude. This is kind of scary. I feel like we're kind of getting away into the deeper end, so we're, we're going to come back this way real quick. I can't even imagine what kind of new stuff they're going to have, bro. Like, do we have Reapers in this game, or do we have something even worse? I don't know. I'm a little bit nervous about it. we got to find this ribbon plant. What was it again? Let's take a look at our blueprints. Um... It's not even in here. I guess if we looked at the battery, we could see it again. It's like a, a green and yellow type plant. I would imagine it's going to be very, very vibrant. And it's probably going to be found somewhere in these shallows. I mean, table coral, acid mushrooms, all those basic things were found really, really easily before. So to imagine it's not going to be too far away, you know what I mean? Whoa, look at the school of all these fish, dude! That is insane. Just need a ribbon plant. That's all I'm asking for. Uh-oh. Little grab trap there. Now that's, that's actually something that we never used in the past. Oh, what is this? We got stalkers around here. I feel like we'd find some stalkers around here. I want to pick up a lot of this quartz. The cool thing is, is obviously, I mean, we've talked about it already. This thing is an early access, so like certain sections of the game are locked. It's not like you can play through all the way to the end now. They're going to be adding them in over time. So we can take a little bit more time this time around and like build up bases and, and do fun stuff that we, we didn't spend as much time doing last time because we were so concerned with, you know, progressing the story and whatever else. So that's a good thing. What is this down here? Salt? Got some salt deposits. I mean, we're we're probably gonna have to head back to base soon to make some food. I'm just aimlessly wandering for this ribbon plant and I can't find it anywhere, dude. It is dark down here. We gotta get that. We gotta get that uh, scanning tool as well as uh, a flashlight. What is this here? Sea glide fragment, of course. That's all I want, man. I just want my sea glide and I can't I can't have it. Kind of look like mini table coral there. I'm not sure if that's actually what they are, dude. I a green and yellow plant. It can't be like. Maybe we're not going deep enough. We might have to go deeper. I cannot believe we haven't found it yet. I'm gonna check down in these caves. Don't see anything down there. Hopefully we don't have any crash fish. Those things are not fun to deal with early on. We've got this thing here, but that's. That's not what we're looking for. Lots of plants down here, but nothing that screams ribbon plant to me. Dude, they got quartz all over the place down here. Look at that guy. He's kind of cool looking. Maybe he's going to be like the new stalker, just hanging out down here in the plants. Another grab trap. A lot more quartz. 
Sea glide. But nothing that we... Oxygen. Nothing that we actually want. I guess we should just make some food right off the bat. So I'm gonna I'm gonna cook the boomerang and the hoop fish or whatever those things are called, and then we're gonna we're gonna make the bladder fish into some uh, some water bottles. So at least we're gonna have some sustenance here and some water. We gotta find these things. The only thing I'm thinking is is maybe we aren't going deep enough. I don't know. All right, we're gonna move. <laughs> look at all the look at all the quartz we got. Intake recommended. That is ridiculous. So I'm gonna drop everything over there. We're gonna take some of these boys out. Take all those, drop all this stuff off. Let's come back. I'm gonna make some water and everything else, but we're gonna figure out where this stupid ribbon plant is. All right, let me eat a couple of these cooked boomerangs. Those did not do very much for you, dude. Those those hardly hardly brought our food up. So we're gonna have to have to start looking out for other peepers and stuff. I mean. Ah, there it is right there. Let's go, boys. Okay. Don't mind if I do. I'm gonna keep an extra... Ooh, there's a sea glide fragment right there, so let's remember that. We don't have a compass or anything, but it's gonna be out of the exhaust side. You got the exhaust side over here. We're gonna be okay. All right. Oxygen. There we go. So we're gonna come inside. Let's go ahead and make this battery here. And then we're gonna be able to come in and make our scanner. Let's go, boys. All right, we got the first piece of equipment. Did I see, oh, we need fiber mesh and two titanium. How do we get, how do we get fiber mesh? Creep vine samples, okay. So we need to make a knife then. Do we have the thing for the knife? Survival knife is silicone, rubber, and titanium. Okay, so we need to, so creep vine is, is red now, interesting. So we want to go find that creep vine. If we get the silicone rubber from the creep vine, we're going to be able to make our knife. We'll be able to go back to the creep vine. We'll be able to get the samples from it to make the fiber mesh to make us a uh, an oxygen tank so we can stay down longer. Because this is honestly getting a little bit ridiculous how often we have to come back to the top. All right. Where was the creep vine at, though? We also got to go scan that sea glide. There's a lot to do here, boys. It's kind of exciting starting fresh and not having everything already ready to go. Not having a bunch of food growing outside our door where all we have to do is just, you know, pick it up as we walk by and it refills itself. Like it's, it's, ooh. Limestone, we'll take it. It's nice having to, having to grind a little bit, you know what I mean? This is good. All right, so here's the creep vine over here. Gotta remember, dude, this, this stuff is creepy. The whole arm looking things. I guess we'll start scanning some of this stuff. Gotta get back up top, dude. I. Are we gonna die right now? We made it! Oh my gosh, I thought we were dead. <laughs> I thought we were gonna die first thing in this series. I was gonna be so mad. I don't even think we died. Well, no, we died a couple times in the last one. I'm, I'm not gonna pretend like I'm that good, but. Um, I, that, that would have been, that would have been bad. We're going to scan this creek vine. We're going to grab this sample. So we, we know that we got to come this way. And then we also know where we can find another sea glide fragment. It's off of that exhaust side, kind of, kind of diagonal to it. This is pretty much straight back from the blue light is good to take us where we want to go to get to the creek vine. Gotta map this out. Gotta get it in our head, dude. We're gonna build a compass when we can, too. All right, so we're gonna be able to come in here. We're gonna be able to make that silicone rubber. Looks good. And then we're gonna be able to make, uh, make that survival knife. All right, looks good to me. So let's take said survival knife. We're gonna put it down here. We're gonna come back out and we're gonna swim on over back to the creep vine. Where's that blue light? Was it this way? Yeah, there's a creep vine right there. Whatever. Whatevs! So we're gonna grab some of these samples. Why does it say? I guess we scanned the creep vine cluster before, didn't we? All right. We got some of that creep vine. Now we're gonna be able to make that, uh, gonna be able to make that, that oxygen tank so we can actually stay down a little bit longer. Look at this, dude. We can hardly swim anywhere. All right, so we're gonna come in here. 
Um, oh, we need to make the fiber mesh first. Got that, and then we're gonna be able to make a standard O2 tank. Okay, looks good. That's on, right? Yep. Okay, now we're gonna come to the exhaust hood. It was off of this leg straight this way. We are gonna find a sea glide fragment at some point, and then we're only gonna need one more fragment to scan after we find this one, and we'll be, we'll be good to go. What are these things? Nothing. They got a lot of plants in here that you don't really use anything for. I don't know if that's going to change as time goes on or what. Alright, so we only need to find one more sea glide fragment. And we're going to be able to make that bad boy. So that's... That's the number thing... Number one thing on my list right now is to find that. And I... No, oh, no, that's a grab trap. I was going to say, I think we just found it right here, but that's alright. Grab traps, I'm honestly not even sure what they do. I, uh... I never built one in the last game. Makes me think it'd be like some sort of a fishing trap or something. Like you can trap fish and... I don't know. Poop fish? I'm trying to scan everything. I'm trying to catch them all like a Pokemon, baby. Got a little cave back here. Okay. The good news is we haven't seen anything scary yet. It's a pretty... Pretty tame way to start off the series. Hopefully I didn't just jinx it. Take that. Take this. Y'all see any sea glide fragments? Water fish. I'll scan you little buddy if you don't mind. Just calm down. I'll pick you up too. I'm gonna turn you into a water bottle. Sorry dude. It's gonna harvest you for some water. I feel bad about it, but I also don't at the same time. Signal location uploaded to PDA. Uh oh. Robin, the boss wants a sit rep. I'm cold, I lost all my gear, and I'm no wiser to what's going on. But I'm alive. I can't authorize another drop. Hold on. There's an emergency cache. Hasn't been touched since the scouts landed six months ago. Whew. Could be useful. Send me the cords. On your HUD. Well, that sounds exciting. That's going to be our first mission that we're going to head out on, got boys. That's... That sounds dangerous. I remember the first mission we went on to go save somebody in our last Subnautica playthrough. That was kind of crazy. Ooh. Let's go ahead and scan this boomerang. I thought this was something totally new, and it's not. I was going to be excited about it. Got him. Where's that little guy? Little I.I.? -I? Hello, little buddy. Well, I really want to get... Let's get this guy over here, and then I want to I want to go take a look at those penguins. Pinnaca reed? Okay. Let me see. I, I think we should be able to, to make the, the sea glide. I want to go scan those penguins, though. The little cute thingies that we see. All right, so we're going to come in here. Um, blueprints. Where's our sea glide at? Sea glide. Battery, lubricant, copper wire, and titanium. So we're gonna need to make another battery, which we're gonna need more ribbon. So we need two ribbon plant. Um, the lubricant we get from creep vine clusters, copper wire we can make. So we need two more ribbon plants. If we could find two ribbon plants, that would be clutch. I don't really wanna go off on a grand new adventure without having a sea glide, you know what I mean? Like, I, I feel like it's gonna take way too long. So, let's just find ourselves two new ribbon plants and we'll be good to go. Dude, we're starting to get a little bit deeper. Just a wee bit deeper. Dude, it's, it's scary. Like, it, it's, it's a little intimidating not knowing. That's the biggest thing is like, nothing in the game was really that scary. Like, yeah, Reapers coming out of the dark, coming at you, that's scary. But it's just the idea of the deep, dark unknown. Like, that's what's scary. And the fact that I'm not comfortable, I don't know what to expect. I don't know what's going to be around that next corner. Oh, ribbon plants, where are you? I'm going to go ahead and grab this guy right here so we can make that lubricant. Dude, we got to get a... Uh, we got to get a, a farm started ASAP. I feel like I'm not really seeing a ton of... Um, 
I'm not seeing a ton of creep vine clusters on these creep vines. Like, there's a lot of creep vines, but the, the clusters are pretty sparse. So that's a little concerning. All right, we don't have many... We don't have many spots left. I really just want to find this ribbon plant. Aha! Let's go! I don't think we're going to be able to take them both, though. And we need both. We're just going to have to drop something. Um, I guess we could probably... Yeah, let's drink a water. All right. We're good, baby. We can go back and make this sea glide. Bro, something just got eaten. That scared me a little bit. I'm not going to lie. All right, here we go. So we're going to enter our base. We're going to come in here. Um, we're... Oh, we've got plenty of, plenty of copper. Uh, we're going to make a battery. We're going to make a copper wire. Almost forgot about the lubricant. All right. And that should be enough to make our sea glide. Woo, we are back in business, baby. It feels good, man. Here we go. All right, so we're gonna come in here. We're gonna put our sea glide on our handy dandy number three, where it always was before. Actually, sea glide was always on four, I think, right? Here we go. Yes, it was. Oh, shoot. We're back in business, boys. I'm trying to go find a penguin. Where are these penguins at? They might not come out at night. Shoot. To be honest, that's kind of how I wanted to end this episode. I wanted to go find a penguin. Oh well, I guess we're just gonna have to go get a penguin next episode. I feel like, uh, I feel like that'd be good. Well, wait, did I just... I could have sworn I saw something really big off in the distance and it scared me a little bit, but I think we're okay. Um, yeah, I, I think we're doing all right here. I mean, we, we've got a, a really full inventory here. Honestly, if anything, we're, we're running out of storage. We don't have any storage, so we're gonna have to figure out something with that, but, uh... Things, things are going pretty well so far. Do we have, can we, can we make a fabricator? We need, we need something to, and we don't, we don't, we have a pathfinder tool. I haven't seen that before. We need something to be able to build onto this so we can make some, some more lockers and stuff. But I think that's a good spot to, uh, to stop it here. The thing is, is like I said, it's early access. So like, there's only a limited amount we can play. I don't want to get through too much of it all at once. You know what I mean? We're going to take our time. We're going to have fun with it. We're going to take our time. We're going to have fun with it. And uh, I'm going to see you guys at our next episode. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. If you guys want to see more, subscribe if you haven't already. I'll catch you all later. Peace out.